Ini gue aja ya. Aku kan nunggu. Ini aku jaya, habis, aku jaya kena. Di mana customer? Di mana customer? Di mana customer? Di mana customer? Habis nanti jaya kau ini. Okay. Ini bos. How much is it? Kemana ni nanti tajuan sih sambil nak fitting ya. Madam, your money no complete. I know. I, I know say no complete, but I go balance you. Before the end of this week, I go pay you your money. I go find money for you. You get some money where they expect. I go give you. Madam, I know if you do that one. No. The last one where you buy, you never complete them. Now you won't collect another one. Say you go balance you. Why they talk like that now? Ah. Hmm? I know if you do that one. No. I go find your money for you. Now, small thing. Just Friday like this, I will give you the money. Now, because of my picking, no. My picking no get food to chop. Food no day house. My picking no get food to chop. I beg you. See, madam, make you no pass on Saturday. At the go market, I beg you. She say my market don't finish. I don't get anything. I beg. Make you no pass. Now see now because of your picking, make me do amo. I know. Now because of your picking, I beg. Make no pass Saturday. Friday self, you go get your money. I beg. I don't want to allow. Thank you. Me no pass out today. I won't go market. Me no pass out today. No go pass. Thank you. What happened this game? Another credit. Yeah, this one. What's it I go do now? What's it I go do? What you go do? They ask me that question. Oh, wait, Toma, I don't ask you. That fine woman. What did she do with that hopeless man? Abba, he has been seen no talk like that. Uh -uh. The man, they try. Try waiting. They try, no easy. The man, they try. I beg, drop that talk. The man, they try. Like the woman, they come here every day, come by market on credit. See, he has been seen now because of her picking, making the door. The picking is this one. They tie work the way the man, they do. Where the money is there? Where they keep her man? Where they use a woman nice? He has been seen. Mom will not judge them. Will not be God. I don't judge anybody. You, you, you know what's in the apple for their family. You don't know. Before the woman they come, you come by credit. Something they happen. Ah, I pity you. We never choke you. If you keep for here, you go no. I will go not say me. Yeah, this is concert something for me. You leave your shop go they do and they go. Let us know they will take. I beg you. What do you want buy? You leave your shop go they do. What do you want buy, madam? I beg you, give me not. Don't go mind your business. I said, now. Campus. Some of my top top customer called and said I should bring some of my years for them to see. So, are they adequate? That's nice. Don't worry. The market will see. I'm you. I said, no, agree buy for my aunt now. Ah, uh, oh, for real. You know somebody that has finished eating three square meals that will be buying clothes. Besides, you want me to buy a show, belay, show, breast, show, show, that, show, nya, show, everything. <laughs> Please, oh, my style is classy. Uh, so your dresses are too, what's that word again? Enticing. So you prefer to wear parachute up and down like this? It's not parachuting. Mm. I'm wearing bubu, kaftan. It's for married women. I see. You should be wearing something that will complement your body, not hide it. Give your husband something to look forward to when coming home. My husband already knows what to look forward to. And he loves me like this. Okay. Wife of the year. Okay. I don't hear. Market woman of the year. Fashionista of the year. Thank you. All right, so there you go. Bye bye.
Oh, good afternoon, my angel. How was school today? Fine. Uh -huh. Grand fashion up. I'm sure you will not have to lunch. Okay. How is it? What happened? How did it go? We'll talk in the evening. I have to take a passenger to the airport. Okay. okay. supposed to get experience if no one is willing to give me a chance. Honey, don't worry. You'll get a job. Same way God has been taking care of us and providing for us, he'll give you a job and a very good one. Okay? As if my day wasn't disappointing enough, I come home to this. I mean, what is this? Why are we eating swallow two days in a row? You know things are, are very expensive in the market. And there's no food in the house. I even had to get food on credit from uh, Mama and Kichi. Please, just, just try and manage. Well, we have to... I don't like that word. I, I, why do we have to manage? Are we not beggars on the street? Let me go and make noodles. We have noodles in the kitchen. Hmm? Don't worry, I'm not hungry. Daniel, you haven't eaten all day. I see, I said I'm not hungry now. Please, don't let me transfer. I'm sorry about earlier. I'm just so frustrated by everything. Every time I go for an interview, it's the same story. This is my 10th interview in four months. Can you believe it? You're counting. Of course I'm counting. And these are even the ones I can remember. Babe, I've been to everywhere in Lagos. Even to Ajangbadi, all in the name of looking for a job. 
Am I destined to be a cab driver for the rest of my life or is it a curse? Don't talk like that. Hmm? You're trying. Even God knows you're trying. I know you're doing your best and very soon something good will happen. When? When is it going to happen? Is it tomorrow? Next month? Ten years? Or is it when I grow old? Mm -mm. It doesn't matter how long. All that matters is that we have each other. You have me. I'm going to be here by your side praying for you. And soon I know God will give you the best job. Just have faith. Okay? I don't know what I would have done without you. God knows you'd be useless without me. <laughs> That's why he gave you a wife like me. <laughs> <laughs> and I am so grateful to God for bringing you my way. I really love you. I love you. Good will happen soon, I know. Okay. I hope so. I really hope so. Hello? Hello? Am I speaking with Daniel Obi? Yes. Regards your job application. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I remember you guys. Great. I did like to inform you that you've been invited for an interview at our office for Thursday, 10 a.m. Can you make it by then? <laughs> of course, yes. I'll make it. I'll definitely be there. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Don't mention to have a great day. <laughs> This is what I'm talking about. Yeah. <sighs> oh, no, I think uh, everything is here. So don't worry. The prayer and fasting that I did for this interview. 14 days. Mm -hmm. I know you are going to get it. Don't worry. Hey Amen. God knows I really need this job. Yeah. Yeah. Um, baby, I have to go. <laughs> Newly goes traffic now. It's very unpredictable. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later, okay? All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. The same God that will take care of us will give you this job. Take care. I love you. Babe, hey, talk to me now. What happened? You know I don't like it when you're like this.
What did they say? You got the job. <laughs> Tell me you got the job. I got the job. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. I know. God. Hey, God heard my prayer. I told you my prayer and fasting was going to work. And it worked. I hey, told you. Let me tell you something. Hey. God put in overtime on this one. Babe, the salary is more than anything I've ever dreamed of. What? Are you serious? Babe. Hey! So my husband is a big man yes, now. Yes, no, big man. Hey! Big man guess, what, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? What? We have an official car. Are you joking? Um. <laughs> yeah! 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 Official yeah. things. <laughs> official <laughs> things, baby. Officially. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm so happy for you. I'm happy for you. Baby, make you dinner. Myself dinner. Myself dinner. Baby, ah, things are about to change for good. Yeah, Papa, we don't get work. Lydia, I am uh, a Yes. Oh, Miss Debbie? Yes. Miss Debbie? Yes. Yeah. Sorry, I um. No, oh, it's fine. I understand. You're not the first, and you probably won't be the last either. We know you soon. Daniel will be. Nice to meet you. Same here. All right, so um, this is Lydia, mm. our France Dex officer. I'm sure you've met her here before. Yes, I've met Lydia already. <laughs> All right. So we'll take you upstairs and say hi to guys and yeah. to another staff. Sure. Come on. Tell me about your first day at work. <laughs> oh, but you didn't ask. Yeah, hey, I'm asking now. How was it? Okay, Ma. It was good. Okay. Actually, it was everything that I dreamed of. Everything? Yeah. I mean, the place is so organized. The staff are nice and friendly. Even Renee is a dream. <sighs> Renee? Who's Renee? I mean, working with her is going to be a dream. She's so professional and efficient. Ha. Huh. You... You can already tell she's professional and efficient in just a, a few hours. Ah, baby. <laughs> Some people efficiency, eh? It'd be like billboard. You can't help but notice them. Mm. Okay. If, if you say your first day at work was good, then I pray the other days will be just as good. Amen. Even better. Amen. Oh. <laughs> You know, I, I really can't wait to scale through this probation period. What are you talking about? You will scale through now. Don't you have a good degree? Are you not my husband? <laughs> Don't you have work experience? Baby, I'm not the only one. No. There are other people that are as good as I am. Uh -huh. And so, are they Daniel Obi? Do they know who you are? Eh? Those people hired you because they saw something special in you. Mm. They saw something that I have always seen. And the man that I know is excellent. You do amazing work. Just commit yourself to it. Don't be distracted. Be focused. And you're skillful. Have I told you that I really love you? Mm. You tell me that a hundred times a day. Mm. <laughs> okay, I think we should try a thousand times. Actually, scratch that. Let's do one million times a day. Okay. I'm listening. Stop anything. Don't worry about it.
Is there any other us I don't know about? Sorry, I, I just wanted to clarify. You know what? Never mind. I'll be there shortly. No. Yeah. You both are traveling to Portacot tonight. I've scheduled a meeting with Chief Albert Epeño. I was made to understand that he's intending to move his accounts elsewhere. And you know, we won't let that happen, not on our watch. I'm sorry, Ma. I spoke with him three days ago and he said nothing of the sort. What's happening? He lied to you. From a very reliable source, I was made to understand that was his decision. And this is the reason I'm sending the both of you there, to make sure it doesn't happen. And I'm relying on you then to come back with a positive response. Understand? I trust the both of you. And I know you will come back with something positive. Hmm? Sure. I've asked my PA to uh, send in your travel details to your email. In a GP, you'll get it. So uh, I think that's all for now. I wish you a safe trip. And make sure you come back with positive report. Can I count on you both? Sure, sure. All right. Yes. Okay. Have a good day and safe trip. Thank you. Bye for now. Thank you. Okay. Babe, it was an impromptu assignment. I had no idea until this morning that I was leaving for PH. I don't know, maybe day after tomorrow when we're done with this whole thing. Um, babe, I think there's someone at the door. Let me call you back shortly. Yeah, call him! Okay, kiss Ivy for me. What? Mm. Mm. God! What's that smell? What smell? What? You can't smell it. It's a mixture of crayfish and ogiri. Baby, you know I'm coming from the kitchen now. Am I supposed to be smelling like baby powder? Then at least shower first. Not try to assault my nose. Is this the first time I will hug you after cooking? This is the first time I'm noticing the smell and I don't like it. So please, bathroom. Uh. Tanya, what is wrong with you? I don't understand you. You are acting strange. Since you came back from this, your potato strip trip, you've been acting strange. What, what, what's all this now? So me asking you to shower so you can get rid of that smell is me behaving strange. Are you... Where are you going to? Where I can breathe without needing to spit every 10 seconds. Come here! I'm actually overreacting! Which is the Enthusiastic about doing business with us. What did you guys do? Um, we actually it was Daniel. Really? Yes. He brought down the extra and avoidable cost chief Ekpenyo would be incurring if he was to switch competition. Also, the money which he reinvested in his capital 
in our business would actually fetch him more money. And also, all these ideas was Daniel's idea. Daniel? Daniel! Mom. It's too early to take a trip to the moon. <laughs> Sorry, Ma, I just uh, remembered something. You care to share? <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's very personal. Already? Okay. I want to say a big thank you. you. I'm so proud of you, but you made me really, really proud. Thank you. I'm glad you sold it, you hmm? Thank yes. you so much. Back there, you gave me all the credit, knowing well that it was it was a team effort. Well, it won't be a problem to let my team member shine for a bit now, would it? Thank you. It's fine. Late lunch later today. Are you asking or you're telling? Does it matter? No, it doesn't. It's just that I haven't been on a date in a very long time. Is that what you think this is? A date? It's not. <laughs> oh, well. Let's see how that goes very much. Okay, ma'am. You're in? <laughs> yes, I'm in. Good. See you later. You are safe. Huh? I was worried. What happened? What is this drama about? I keep calling you. You didn't answer my call. This is your first time of coming home late. What's going on now? I've been working. That's what people go to the office to do. I don't have a problem with that. But at least you would have just answered my call or sent me a message that you'll be coming home late. This, this is very late now. Essie, people work late. I'm not the first man in Lagos to do it. Neither will I be the last. I don't have a problem with that. It's only fair that you send me a message or you call me or you text me that you're coming late. I'm your wife. <sighs> okay, fine. I'm sorry. I apologize. Are you happy now? No, I'm not happy. Your food is on the table. Thanks. I'm not hungry. I'm very sure you made swallow like you always do. Wait, let's go. Let's this. What? What are you wearing? Who oh, will now? You never see this one before. You like it? I've seen plenty. But I've never seen you look 10 years older than your actual age. Go and change for something nice, please. Ofure, no be market with the go. With the go club. Please, let's go now, eh? Mm hmm. So we are going to the market. Is that why I want to look like my grandmother in the village? <sighs> Ufumi, I don't have time for this. So. If you want to insult me, just insult me. Please. What's all this? Please, go and change into something funky. <laughs> this is this. Change into something funky? Do I, do, I, do I look like I'm looking for a man? We are going to the market. Why do I need to wear something funky? Okay, you have a husband. Until one girl go collect them for your hand. Then you go understand. God forbid, back to send. I reject and rebuke. I cast and die in Jesus' name. Hey, Nobody will steal my husband. Mommy, Gio. I don't hear. So, be Jesus, don't give her work. You don't work for one correct office. Even that office now, eh? Don't know if it's a blessing or a curse. He's been acting strange. <sighs> you see, it's barely eight months. I'm already complaining. Hopefully, you wish. He wish to complain. If it's your man that goes to work, comes back late in a sad mood, won't you, won't you feel, won't you feel uncomfortable? 
Most likely work stress. You safe. Try to give him something to look forward to when he comes home now. Mm. Mm. Something like that. Don't worry. I will tell you. Yeah, let's go. Okay. So please go and change. Ah. And this has skimpy clothes, sha. How does that affect the price of candles? <laughs> I've never cheated on my wife before. That's because you haven't found a girl to cheat with. It's just that sometimes... Okay, mister, I am a married man. A girl knows when she's being rejected. See you later. How are you? Please, I don't have the time or energy for this attitude right now. I'm going to bed. And what's that supposed to mean? What is that supposed to mean? I put in effort to give you something to look forward to. I cooked. I've been waiting for you. I dressed up just for you. And you're just going to walk in and go to bed and act like I don't exist. Well, 
You look nice. Thanks for the food. But I'm not hungry. It's her, right? It's clear that there's another woman. What? Daniel. What are you talking about? I may not have gone to the university, but I am not stupid. I'm not going to stand here and feed whatever insecurities you have boiling inside of you right now. I am tired and I'm going to bed. Oh, you think you know what tired is? I take care of this house. I do school runs. I clean. I wash, I wash the clothes. I, I do the laundry. I do everything. And you think you know what tired is? Do you see me whining like a child? I have a job. I work, Essie. And I play. I've been taking care of this house, providing for this house when you had no job, and now you have a stupid job and you're telling me you are tired. Nice. Very nice. I knew you were going to pull that card. Why don't you take a microphone, go outside, and announce it to the world? You know what? I'm going to pay you back every dime that you spent on me. Since that's what's shocking you now. Good night. Daniel, <laughs> you're playing with fire and it's going to consume you. Daniel! Daniel! Yes, ma'am. Yes, I, I'm almost done. Okay, I'll bring it to you. Yeah, I'll bring it to you after shortly. Thank you. Yeah, these are the documents you requested for. I need it back on my table first thing tomorrow morning. What's with this attitude? What attitude? Come on, Renee. You know what I'm talking about. You're being cold to me, flirting with other guys just to make me jealous. Why are you doing all of that? Look here, Daniel. I don't have time for this nonsense stuff, okay? I need to get back to work. Mala, I need the uh, onions. How much? Fifteen naira now. No fifteen naira. No. No, 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 they say fifteen naira onions. No fifteen naira. No. Hello, Daniel. Where are you? I told you I'm in Asaba. Asaba? You are in Asaba, but I, I can see you in Lagos. I'm looking at you now. You are in Asaba? This is your Asaba. Welcome. Welcome. I'm not in the mood for your fights, please. Wherever you kept that mood, you go and dig it up because I'm not done. I'm ready for you. I see. Look. Don't essay me! You cheat on me, you lie to me, and you, you want to determine how I'll react to it. Abby? Who is that girl? She's my colleague. Am I not allowed to interact with my colleagues anymore? Colleague? Colleague, where they wear short thing. Where they kiss for moto. I resemble small picking for your eye, Abby. You just say I don't see you. Eh? You did crazy. Something they wear you for head. Okay. I say I can see that you're ready for a fight. You really want to fight. But trust me, I'm not in the mood. So miss me with it. Hey, 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 wait, though. So all those late nights. Now she be the walk where they walk. Abby? You are having an affair. Yes. Now she be the walk where they walk. I'm having an affair with her. Are you happy? Since I'm with you one year, are you happy? Daniel. After everything I've done for you. Oh after all my sacrifice. Here we go again. All my sweat, my tears, I gave up my school fees for your education and this is how 
Why you repay me, Daniel? What is this sweat, sacrifice, tears, things that you, that you keep talking about? What is it? Ah, sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. Are you Jesus? Not only you sacrifice. I may not be Jesus. But my claims are true. After everything I've done for you, Daniel, I swear to God, as long as my God lives, me, as Elgin, God will judge you. God will judge you, Daniel. You finally have a job, and now I am not good enough for you. I don't satisfy you anymore. You want to know what I really think? You're too local for me. You look local. You dress local. What, what is this thing that you're wearing? What is this Maria Maka thing that you're putting on right now? What is this? Eh? I've advised you. I've, I've told you, work on yourself. But no. I'm sorry. Come on, Stay away from me. I'm done with this marriage. Hi. I'm going to leave. I'm going somewhere where I can have peace of mind. Eh? Is now. I'd rather stay with a prostitute. At least I'll be happier then. Daniel, you are a shameless man! You are a useless man! God will judge you! God will judge you! God will fire you! Because of this stupid prostitute, you are leaving your family! God will punish you! God will punish you! I'm sorry to bother you like this. Essie and I have some issues. And I just need somewhere to stay for some time oh. until I can get myself. Daniel, are you really taking permissions from me? You can stay here as long as you want. I really don't have a problem with it. My home is yours. Okay? Wow. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Essie and I are done. Our marriage is over. Like, she almost killed me. I'm sorry. Sorry, okay? <sighs> Look. My head hurts. Shh. No more talks about her, okay? I don't want to hear about her anymore. Okay? Now kiss me. <laughs> Why don't you go freshen up, okay? Come, let's go. Yeah, I need a painkiller. I have one, don't worry. I lie. What, what do I stand to gain from lying? Daniel has left me and our daughter to go and be with, with another woman. 
Ogao. Just like that. When the going was tough, I was not I was not local. When I was struggling for Daniel, making sacrifices for him, I was not local. But now he's earning money, good money. I'm not good enough for him anymore. What kind of thing is this now? Can you explain it to me? Calm down, Bessie. Calm down. You know, I, I, I don't know why I'm still finding it very hard to believe. You have to believe me, oh. You have to believe me. Daniel has left us. So what are you going to do now? I mean, how are you going to cope? The, way, the only way I know how to cope, the way we've been coping since now, was I not the one managing and carrying this house when Daniel was struggling? I'm coping. I'm managing. Off Ray is helping us. But God is my witness. See, my armpits gave no day inside. God knows I was faithful to him. I was nothing but a good wife to Daniel. I gave everything for him. God will judge him. Oh. God will judge your friend. God, calm, better calm talk to down, him. Essie, calm down. Okay? I, I understand exactly the way you feel. You don't understand. Okay. I'm sorry I've been finding it hard to believe all, the, all, all through your story. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not calling you a liar, but it's just hard to believe. So don't worry. Okay, I'm going to see him. I will have to speak with Daniel. I mean, he has to explain to me. He has to tell me why he has been this, this wicked. No, no, he really has some explanations to do. You have to talk to your friend. You have to talk to your friend, though. He said I don't fit into his new life. His new life that I slaved for. I know how I fasted and prayed. How I sacrificed. How I, how I supported him. So that he can be where he is in life now. And then suddenly. He says I'm too local. I'm too local for him. That I don't speak Queen's English. Please, please calm down. Calm down, please. <sighs> ah, I remember how I, I sacrificed for him. I gave up everything for him. I gave him my school fees. So he won't drop out of school. My family disowned me because of that ungrateful bastard. My family disowned me. They don't talk to me till now. <laughs> now, I'm not good enough. I embarrass him with the way I talk, with the way I dress. I smell like Ogiri. I didn't smell like Ogiri when he used to make love to me every night. I didn't embarrass him when, when I used to pound yam for him. Baby, it's okay. Please. I didn't embarrass him when I carried his please, child. I didn't down. embarrass please. him. Please. No, I'm an embarrassment to him. I... Hmm. Daniel looked me in the eyes and told me it is finished. Oh, for real. Oh, it is finished. <laughs> I swear by my ancestors. As long as I am in this town, me, that I carried his baby, I swear it will never be good for him. Babe, no. It will never be good for Daniel. Wherever you are, it will never be good for you. Who took that kind of thing? Ufri, I go show her. I go show her me. I be babe now. 
I will show him that he is the one that is finished. Never see anything. Nylon is this? Everything is just useless. Use useless. Am I not going to wake up? Sorry, are you okay? Are you alright? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm not going to sorry, sorry, sorry. There's, there's no point. The nylon is useless. It's useless like everything in the world. Just leave it. Listen, it's not that bad. Come on, it's still manageable. At least it didn't spill off. Uh, this is too manageable. Thank you. Are you sure you're going to be alright? I'll be fine. Thank you. It's okay. You don't have to feel bad for being human. We as adults, we go through overwhelming times. Sometimes. Now it's in Odemba. Odemba. That's, um... Are you related to the guy upstairs? Yes. He's my cousin. I come to see him from time to time. Okay. So, How come I haven't seen you here? Uh, time and chance, maybe. Can I come and check up on you sometimes? I mean, it's, I want to get to see you when you're much better. Not when you're in this unpleasant state. Hope you don't mind. Do I look like a child? I'm an adult. You don't need to check up on me. I'm fine. So you think it's only children that need to be checked up on? So I am here to tell you that adults are the ones that need to be checked up on more than the kids. I'm coming to check up on you. No more in back. I'm just here to pick up my things. Nobody turned your leg.
Where's my stuff? What stuff? The rest of my clothes, my documents. Where are they? Oh, that. I did some spring cleaning. I took out the trash and burnt the memories of the idiots they represent. First of all, where did you learn that English? You did what? I spoke English, not Swahili. If what you're saying is true, do you realize what you've done? What did I do? I took out the trash. I didn't unleash a virus into the world. Seven months of my life, seven months of my hard work is, is what you call trash. Are you a witch? Look at the grandmaster of wizardry calling me a witch. A man who leaves his wife and his daughter to go and live with a prostitute. Are you, are you mad? You are insane. No, you have gone mad. You said seven months of my work on fire and now my company could lose this deal that we've been chasing after for months. Daniel Obey, if they burn you well, try him. I took it home to work on it. On my way home, my laptop bag was stolen and the documents were in the bag. Wait, 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 wait. Did I hear you correctly? You took the file home? Yes, ma'am. Who authorized you to take it home? You took the file home without my authorization. I never gave you permission to do that. You took the file home. I'm sorry, ma. I, I was only trying to. Sorry for what? You took such a sensitive document home without my authorization. And you are here telling me you are sorry. Sorry for what? Ma, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for it to happen like this. The approval? The receipts and documents all gone. Daniel, you have made this company lose a very big opportunity. And now you are telling me it's gone. Ma, I'm sure it hasn't gotten to this. I could quickly rush back to Abuja and get another approval for us. And also gather the receipts that, that we need. That would be on your expenses. But all I know is by Monday morning, I want to see all the documents here on my table. I don't care how you go about it. Yes, ma'am. Just make sure Monday morning the documents are here. Yes, ma'am. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Now get out of my office before my blood pressure rises up. Get out! Can you imagine? Please don't get out! Thanks for the help back right there. You lose an important file and you expect me to back you up. I am Rene, not an iCloud. At least you could have said something. Say what, Daniel? Do you realize we are dealing with high stakes here? How can a project manager like you lose an important file? I didn't like that? lose the file. Okay, so what happened to the file? Essay burnt it out of spite. What? Mm. Your woman did what? Can you please keep your voice down? I told you she can be erratic sometimes. That's why I left her in the first place. Why did you take the file home then? If you know you have a psycho woman. It was a mistake. This shouldn't happen again. You better keep your woman in check. Yeah. It won't happen again. Better. Who's 
serious about checking up on me. Apart from me being a cautious thing, it's also a human thing for me to do. Okay, thank you. I, re I really don't know what to say. Sit down. Let's have refreshment. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Okay. Sit down. Thank you. So, what's in the bag? Refreshment, of course. Looks delicious. Mm -hmm. It is. <laughs> ah. Hey, there's nothing in the pot. Mm. Daniel, you have hands, right? Yes. You're not crippled because you just came out from the kitchen. Okay. So go and make something for yourself to eat. How about? Daniel, I out to you too. What is it? All these years I've been living alone. Only myself I know how to take care of you. You've come up with a big python stomach. You want to start stressing my life? Daniel, do you have weight low? Go to the kitchen and cook something. Please don't stress me. Ah. Please, oh, baby girl's lifestyle only. Mm -hmm. See, stop this rough play. Oh. What is this one now? Bring that food here. Bring Daniel, see, I'm not talking about food. I'm not talking about food. Yes, 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 I like this one. All right. Yeah. So many of them. IB school. IB school. They're asking me to pay 50,000 naira before she can write her exams. Where am I going to see 50,000 naira to give them? For. Daniel, what kind of madness is this? Look at the burden and responsibility that this, this stupid, useless Daniel is, 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 is giving to me. And he's busy gallivanting with that useless prostitute. Look, forget about him and move on with your life. Uh -uh. Are you not tired? Move on to where? After all he did to her. <laughs> so, what do you want her to do? She should call him now. Yes, you call him. You can't carry all the burden alone now. You have to call him. Oh. I will show him. Daniel, I will show him Pepe. Me. A still girl. You never see something. I will deal with him. The right TV program has started. How far now? Are we not having dinner? We? Okay. I am hungry. I want to eat. Daniel. Da Daniel, come on now. Come on. You know your way to the kitchen, don't you? See, please don't stress me. I hate stress, please. Babe, come on. You're my woman. Cooking for me shouldn't be a problem. See, Daniel. Where I come from, if you're hungry, you walk straight down to the kitchen and make something for yourself to eat, okay? Stop sitting down there staring at me till your eyeballs fall down. You'll starve. You'll starve. Very stress, please, please. Ah, uh, no stress. Please, please. 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 Please, please.
Or better still, the only thing my strength can offer is to make cereal and manage it too. I need milk to give us energy for tomorrow. She did it. How was I supposed to stop her? I don't care. Please, get out your wife in a bit. Or else this will turn into a police case. Come on, police case over a dress. Oh, yes, it's very expensive. Go and check the price tag, and I'm sure you cannot afford it. Wow. You're, 
See, you are really acting like I sent this bit to come and pour you and pour you something in the office. Yeah. What is she wearing again? That is taking this long. Okay. Eh, say, hurry up now. You know we can't be late to where we are going to. Ah. I'm coming. Just give me ten minutes. Ten minutes. You said that twenty minutes ago. Now admission office with a go, not the fashion parade. <laughs> Where are you now? Ah, so wow. <laughs> How do I look? You look amazing. Thank you. So you find like this. You find like it's gonna hide now. <laughs> Wait till I'll come in now. You don't insult me. I'm gonna insult you. Well, you don't check me out. Yes, no. Don't look yourself already. Yeah. 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 Just that you brought your woman to come and embarrass my staff in front of my very important clients. I'm sorry, ma. I had no idea that she was. Just... Shut up your mouth. In fact, you are fired. I give you one hour to move your things out of the premises, or else I will call the security to whisk you out. Fifty-five minutes, twenty-four seconds, counting down, out of my office, out of this very minute, out! Hey, baby. Hey, how was your day? Ah, easy. I've been headache. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. What for dinner? I'm hungry. Dinner? Yeah. I didn't cook anything. <laughs> You're joking, right? I'm hungry, Dana. Please, I'm not ready for all those rituals. No, I'm not joking, babe. There's nothing to cook in this house, and I can't go to the market. Wait. Are you serious? Daniel, I pay the rent, okay? Like, see this roof you are living under? I pay the rent. I pay the bills. I mean, electricity bills, water bills, and I go to work to work my ass out only for me to come back. You cannot even, your common sense didn't tell you to cook ordinary noodles. Oh. Like noodles. Oh, hello. First of all, why are you speaking to me in that tone? And secondly, I am not your houseboy. You're not the first or only woman to have a job. Really? Yes, really. My wife has a lot of responsibilities which she balances out well without making a fuss about it. And on top of all of that, she still cooks for me. So what are you on about? Daniel, what are you even doing in my house? Huh? Like, what are you even doing here? Like, I don't understand. You eat my food, even if it's noodles, at least a carton of noodles is now expensive. You sleep in my queen size bed. You watch TV! TV that I obviously pay every month. I can't put up with this anymore. Let's call it a crit. No, I can't. Really? You heard me. You are completely useless to me, Daniel. Like, I mean, if I needed a living liability, I will probably get myself a pet. You know what? Go in there, pack your things and get out of my house right now. Fine. You don't need to, you don't need to waste your spit. I'm leaving. Okay? It's not like you're, you're even great. Alright? You don't even sabi man. So what the hell are you talking about? Oh, <laughs> Look who he's talking. Coming from a guy who climaxes faster than it takes to cook noodles. Girl, stop playing. You know I whip you till thy kingdom come. Oh, no, 
Remember with your pencil? Of course. Get out of my house! Leaving. Bounce! I'm going to check that guy because that guy is a thief. I'm going to steal my drugs. <laughs> Why don't you just leave me alone? Why? Please, just listen to me, okay? I know that I was really unfair to you. And I am sorry. I am so, so sorry. Please, forgive me. Please. What you don't realize is that I've actually forgiven you. You have? Yes, because if I haven't forgiven you, I won't be standing here staring at your pathetic face. Baby. Thank you, thank you so much. You, you have no idea what this means what, to me. What? 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 Oh, I'm thanking you for the second chance. What? Second chance? What second chance? You and I, babe. Just because I've forgiven you doesn't mean there's going to be a second chance. I never said anything about a second chance. Baby, what about us? Huh? What about our family, our daughter, Ivy? There is no us, okay? Us is dead. The moment you walked out that door and through the love and the sacrifices that I made for you in my face, us died. And what is dead stays dead. Hey, babe. Good to see you. But babe, what's going on? Um, I just need to tidy this up. I'll meet you downstairs. Thank you. Um, it's okay. Um, I have to go. I have to go. Hey, please. Hey. Please, I'm begging you. Just give me another chance. I promise. I promise I, I'll do better this time. Baby, you can't leave me right now, please. I, I, 
I'm trying to heal. Please, babe. The only person you need in your life right now is Jesus. Only Jesus can save you and heal you. I am not a rehabilitation center for badly behaved men. Neither am I the last resort for the prodigal. So please, go and find Jesus today. Right now, I have a date with an incredible man. And I don't want to keep him waiting. Baby, baby, please, please, okay? Let me take you on a date. I, I'll take you to the moon. Anything you want, but please, baby, please forgive me. Let me go. Me. And for the record, I know you still have the keys to this house. Before I get back, I need you to pack up your stuff. Because I'm changing the locks. And don't forget to turn off my TV. Babe. Babe. 